Namaste and welcome to another beautiful episode of Om Cuisine, Authentic Universal Meditative. One of my childhood heroes was Dr. Seuss. Well, all of you, I'm sure, have a certain loving affection for this remarkable man. He was born in Springfield on the 2nd of March. We just passed his birthday and unfortunately, after 87 gorgeous years, he passed away in La Jolla, California, very near where we are filming this morning. So, in his honor, we're going to call this the Dr. Seuss smoothie. And guess what, people? If it wasn't for Dr. Seuss, I would not be wearing the cat in the hat around my neck. For sure. What the heck? It's around my neck. Well, hop on pop. Dr. Seuss, and I must tell you that I do like one of them, which is very, very cute. One part of it. It says, CB, we see a B. CB3, now we see three. Well, actually, in front of me, we see five. We see six, actually, six different types of fruit, and it's going to be just absolutely gorgeous. The most beautiful thing about strawberries is that the leaves are edible, too. I'm sure that many of you do know that. Filled with antioxidants and fiber, they are so good for you. And then I'm going to put in some raspberries. The good thing about raspberries, they've got some recent press recently with the raspberry ketones and good for your digestion and weight loss and such, but how does it matter? It's all about great health and positive body image. It's very important. So then we put in some wonderful blackberries. Remember when you're going to be putting all of the berries together, I thought it has to be very, very good because you know, Dr. Seuss loved to rhyme. So, true blue, it better be true. And there it goes. It says, if you gotta go, you need to put in your avocado. So, I'm gonna be putting in my avocado as well. Just half is enough. And it also, of course, you all know this, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but if the doctor is good looking, keep the apple away. So it's good anyway, in spite of whether you have a good looking doctor or not, to put your apple in your smoothie. And now we're going to be looking at liquids, right? Now I'm really fond of this brand. They're wonderful. They're organic. They're called Arnudsen. I'm going to put in some pineapple juice. Why I love pineapples, they're a multiple fruit and they're just brimming with antioxidants and the Dr. Seuss smoothie has to have all the colors of the rainbow in it and we've done quite a good job so far on it and at the same time Dr. Seuss was very, um, what should I say, color conscious. He didn't look at the dark side of life so it's really important to incorporate some tender coconut water. It's very important to embrace flavors and ingredients that come from all over the world in your smoothie. It's like going all over the world, all around the world every single morning. So I'm gonna put some almond milk in there. Oh my god, I'm telling you guys, mm, I'm already feeling healthy. Just looking at it, right? Then I love tropical lacuma powder. Now tropical lacuma powder is called the gold of the Incas, also called the egg fruit, and it's got kind of like a caramel-like texture. And what is wonderful about it is that it gives you a little bit of a frothy appeal and it gives you fabulous nutrition. So I'm just gonna put about two heaping fulls of the Inca powder. Red maca, everybody knows that. It's fabulous for anti-aging. It was used by warriors of the Andes and it was very good for strength and endurance, especially when they took on tasks and went on battlefields and went on long journeys. So we're going to be putting that. So just remember, red and tropical lucuma powder. And then we have the almonds and the smoothie blend is ready to go. We will do a taste test, a remarkably wonderful one. And I'm gonna to talk to you about some eco-friendly options rather than pallets in the plastics in your straws to make sure you have a healthy slurp. So we will see you soon. So here we are with our Dr. Seuss smoothie. And guess what? I'm in love with these blackboard labels, I must tell you. And whenever I make meals of any kind, I'm making a smoothie, making a salad and whatnot, I always believe in creating a concept of intention. 
so that the value of the meal, the nutritional integrity, the thought process integrity and everything just changes and it's magnificent. So right here, my label says One World, in honor of Dr. Seuss, because he really had all of those colors going, teaching our children to be wonderful citizens of the world. As we say in India, Vasudeva Kurumbakam, the entire world is my family. That's wonderful. So to your good health, this smoothie can give you a gamut of wonderful options. A glass straw is one concept and then or you can get it like a stainless steel straw I must tell you one thing about these smoothies right whenever people use these straws they're like how am I going to clean it people thought about it you just put this thing through and then clean it I'm not going to do that right now of course so there you go a healthy Dr. Seuss smoothie I can't wait to try it but I'm sure if Dr. Seuss was here he would be not soft, pot it is not, but really cool it is for you to drool. Enjoy your Dr. Smooth's smoothie. Fantastic.